Um, right. I've also I bought Jackbox Ten. We had some guests stay over this weekend, and Jackbox had been a success in previous mm -hmm. uh, encounters. So I figured sure. we would check out the new one that just came out. And again, another disappointment. Like, really, whoa, really, not very many games on there. It's they have a, the t the t shirt game part two. You know that you know where you design the t shirts. I forgot what mm -hmm. it's called. Mm -hmm. Whatever, like you've sort of seen that one before. There's a new trivia game where it's like you're putting things on a timeline. You're basically like they're giving you an event. And a lot of okay. them were video game events, like what year Nintendo 64 came out. And basically everybody's putting their mark on a timeline and you're getting points based on how close you were. Um, I don't know. It was, I mean, I only played it once, so I don't want to really like say too much about it, but it's $35 also. Mm. And it was like yeah. five or now six my, games my on there. My daughter had all our friends over for Halloween. And uh, when they were all here, we, they were in the living room and they played Jackbox, basically the entire Halloween party. Right. <laughs> Ten kids. I mean, uh, they played like the older ones. but Kids like, everybody loves it because they can look at their phone while they play. It's the perfect yeah, game. Much. Everybody yeah. feels comfortable. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I finished another game too. Like, okay. What's, what's this with, one? The, with the kids? Cat Lateral Damage. That does say cat lateral. Okay. It does. This is the uh, first person cat simulator game. Of course where, it is. Of course where it you, is. yeah, you, it, it's got like almost Tony Hawk style challenges, right? Like, so you're, you're exploring different houses or different environments and you've got to go do all of these different goals to knock crap on the floor. Like that's your, <laughs> that's your goal. in all of these is to just knock things on the floor. So it's got that. It's got a little bit of the Katamari, like of like you knock something on the floor. And it's like, oh, that's a new thing that you've knocked on the floor. So you're like right, discovering good. like all kinds of new things and like you replay levels and they'll like uh, have different keys to unlock other levels, like the Christmas level where you get to climb up a tree. And uh, it also has like a um, procedurally generated levels as well to where like puts new things out in the levels and new goals and and it like it was on sale for pretty cheap i don't remember but like very cheap i don't remember how much it was but uh, we enjoyed our our time with it we'll probably play some more because the procedural generated stuff but um you get to level up your cat make it you can take naps the naps oh, or there's like naps this sounds better than the, robocop uh, there you get uh catnip and that makes you like time stop and the the screen get all wavy. So oh, the whole like timer, time. yeah, the whole timer based is just on like your cat getting tired, right? <laughs> like that's the whole thing. Is like funny. I've been doing this for too long. That yeah, sounds funny. Yeah, it's 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 a cute game. I I I recommend Cat Lateral Damage. Nice, nice. Um, just for shits and giggles, I figured I would check out how Xbox Cloud Stream is is going. Okay. Really, I wanted to check out Halo Infinite, but I forgot that I uninstalled it, and it was like, "Hey, just play it now by cloud streaming." So mm, I was not, like, "Let's let's just see, right? Not a t that's a tough one, right? So let's yeah, figure it would yeah. be a good test." So I checked it out, and I was really, really, really impressed with how smoothly it ran. I don't think it it's it doesn't have HDR. I don't, I'm pretty right, sure you're not running the the top graphical settings. It's not running the, the top yeah. graphical settings. But other than that, like it ran perfectly smooth. Like after I was playing it for like a minute or two, there were no hiccups or anything. Now it you was, were playing on online. Yeah, I'm playing uh, playing multiplayer Slayer. Yeah, Team Slayer. Okay. And uh, I was actually playing. It was like there's a tiny Spartan mode now where <laughs> all the okay. characters are like three inches tall, but the guns are regular size, and the players can run really fast and jump high. It's very, it was very weird, okay. but it was a great test for the, for the cloud streaming. And of course, you know, I have, I have gigabit, uh, internet here. So I have oh. like the perfect, perfect setup is the perfect environment for it, but it, it did work perfectly. So that's that I'm reporting back to you. Nice. Uh, let's do a quick cag bag and then we can go to bed. Uh, Grim grinning guy writes in and asks if Wombat dumps uh, Baldur's Gate three. I feel like dumped is a hard, harsh word. I just haven't gone back to it. Dumped. You never do you, know. Do you think you'll Crazy go back? Things have happened. It's coming out for Xbox soon. I know. Well, I don't need that. I know. Once enough. You know. 
Mm-hmm. It was mentioned in that South Park uh, show that I watched. Nice. That was part of the plot. Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, let's see here. Um, some uh, Alex writes in and says, Lessons in Chemistry on Apple TV is one of the best shows this year. You need to watch this show. That's not a question. No, but know. my wife is addicted to it. Oh, really? I watched yeah, the trailer was. for it, and I wasn't sure it was for me. She loves it. I was going to watch it, but she started. She it was when she was sick in bed, so I, I she gets a pass. But uh, she started watching it without me, and I'm like, oh, I guess I could catch up. <laughs> this is this is the Brie this Larson Marvel, uh, cooking show. Yeah, it's Brie Larson oh. period. It's a Brie Larson period piece. It is not a Marvel show. Cheap period right. piece. What do you mean period piece? It, it she's she's on it. Yeah, she's Brie Larson the, stars as a no. no, no. It takes place in the it. It takes place in the sixteen hundreds, and it's a it, cooking show. What's happening? No, it, no, it takes place in like the fifties, maybe fifties. Yeah, I think it takes place oh. in the fifties. Takes place in the nineteen fifties. It stars Brie Larson. She's a scientist, okay. and good and bad things happen to her. <laughs> there you go. That's what, it's For it's sure. just it's a it's a yeah. melodrama. It's sure. not like it's it's there's nothing crazy about it. I it's see. about a woman in the nineteen. I'm not watching that. I, like, I feel like I'm not watching her. that. I mean, that's every show. <laughs> yeah, good things and I'm bad not things. Saying, I'm not saying. I mean, but it's supposed to be like one of the best shows on TV. Okay. I, all right. Well, uh, thanks for letting us know, Alex. I had not heard of it before. You should check it out. You might actually like it, Mister. It's like um, a- I gotta, maybe. We'll oh, see. I'm sorry. I know you're too busy watching Koreans fall off a cliff or whatever. No, the they're using their brains in this one. Yeah, they're okay. They're falling solving on their heads. puzzles. They're solving puzzles to win uh, 150 million won. Mm-hmm. That sounds racist. That's the name of their currency. <laughs> I don't know how much it is. It sounds like a lot, though. Probably yeah. not. Mm-hmm. Uh, Weed Goku writes in and says, Chibi, not since you murdered the porn tablet have we heard of your current porn viewing device. Can't wait to hear in the next episode. The the new device, which is not new anymore, but I, I can recommend this as any type of laptop, except for maybe a gaming laptop. I bought a Microsoft Surface Laptop 4 on the low, like less than 700 bucks new from like Mercari or something, one of those like shady. You really? Know. You got it from Mercari? Yeah, from Mercari. It was and sealed. it showed up? It was sealed, new, it must have fallen off the back of a truck or something. I don't know. It was like 670 bucks. I had bought one for Mrs. Cheapy for her birthday and it was, you know, it's not the newest model anymore, but for that price, it's fucking awesome. And the 13, I got the 13 inch one and it has, the interesting thing about that laptop is that it, the, the screen ratio is different than a normal laptop. It's more four by three, which works out really well for what you normally use a laptop for, like, you know, documents, spreadsheets, and most videos that you're watching, which aren't like letterbox to hell. So, and the laptop itself is like super solid, like the great design, like feels really sturdy. So I would just recommend that that Surface Pro 4, or Surface Laptop 4, the, the fucking nomenclature of these products are horrible. Surface Laptop 4, don't worry about 5. If you're just looking for, you know, jerking off and doing spreadsheets, that's what you want. Don't worry about the higher, don't, you don't need to spend $1,000 to fucking to wank it and crunch numbers. Trust me on that. Um, what, uh, uh, what if it ends writes in and says, do you have any more insights on cyberpunk 2077? I think this game really surpasses any current competition and I can't believe how much I am enjoying it when I fall off games like this, typically, uh, pretty quick. Maybe it's the reality that 2077 isn't not as far off. I've been playing more of that too. The, the biggest weakness for that game to me is, is too much talking. Like way, way, way too much talk. It's not even like a little too much talking. It's not like Five Five Night at Freddy's just a few nights too too long. This is like they're way off. <laughs> yeah, there's way too much. There's way too much like, oh, uh, now we've discussed this thing. Yes, we discussed the thing. We need to go back over to this place. We need to go back to that place. All right, let's go to this place. Okay, now we're in this place. Okay, we're in this place. Yes, we're in this place. Okay, now we got to go to this other place. And there's way too much like going, like, 
they need to cut the fat out of like 90% of the missions where it's like, all right, uh, I'm going to tell you, text you the location of where the bad guys are. You go there, kill everybody, get me my thing. And then it'll automatically transfer back to me. And then you can go on to the next mission. Yeah. That's what every mission should be like. But instead it's okay. You got to go talk to the guy here. And then you got so go to go talk to this guy here. And then you got to go to talk to that guy over there. Then you finally get to shoot a bunch of people. And then you got to get the doodad or bring it to one guy who can tell you, oh no, you got to get it decrypted by the other guy. And then it's like a whole thing. And they, and something that should be a 20 minute mission turns into like 45 minutes. Yeah. And even when you fast forward the dialogue, it's you just you're laughing yeah. because they're going so fast and they're still going they're still talking Never like ends. what are you still you can't still be talking about anything that's relevant to the fucking game at this point nothing they say is relevant it's, to the game it's almost no like they said they had a, a quota of how many hours of dialogue they had into the game otherwise nobody was going to buy it because there's no, there's no like, relevance to any story in any of these games and the game itself is like at least at now, like the action is really good. Like mm -hmm. the for, it's as good as like any first person shooter. Like it they feels just need to tight. get to it faster. And and now, like, did you respect your guy so like you can be like air dashing and all this like running no, around so I, fast? I, I like, could. <laughs> it's pretty like it seems like a totally different game. No, I instead unlocked all the branches of dialogue. So when someone says, <laughs> you uh, shut them up. Yeah, it's like, hey, you can't go in here. I'm like, well, my persuade is maxed out, so no, I could go wherever the fuck I want. Right, my shut up meter is on 15, so. Yeah, and I literally did it for that reason. So when someone says, you can't get in here, I get a persuade plus five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess you can, sir. Yeah. It's I just like so. the writing is not as clever as you think it is. Like, mm -hmm. we're not hanging on every word. Oh, and also I have, like, my engineering up all the way, too. So if I get to, like, if the mission objective is behind a locked door instead of having to find the key, I could just open the door. <laughs> right. <laughs> Save time. You don't have to go get the key. I don't have to. No, you. Or talk you to the may, guy who has the key. The key. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it is wild how much fucking talking is in that game. But mm -hmm. it's cool. Like, it's very cool. It looks great. I, I, you know, obviously it took them many years to make it look great on Xbox, but mm. I don't know. It's, yep. Video games today are f fucking bizarre. Like, it, games come out, they're all broken. Even like Spider Man, you, you say, like, this list clipping in there it. There was a big patch on that today. I've I'm sure. Okay, that. they it, fixed that one, they'll fix fast. They'll I'm fix sure. They'll fix it, and, and I'm. I, Again, it gets a little bit of a pass because there's levels to this. Yeah, because it's, it's good. It's good and it's right. very large. <laughs> it yes. gets a pass for being good. I saw yeah. like I just wanted to see like what the feedback was on RoboCop, so I typed in RoboCop sucks onto Twitter just to see like if anyone was having a similar experience. And some guy posted, he's like, "Man, this RoboCop game sucks. I can't progress anymore because one of the NPCs got stuck in the floor in the doorway." So his half of his body is sticking up in the doorway and he his world cop can't walk through the doorway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, that's that's video games today. Just like these games just come out and they fix it when they can. That's why I stick with Fortnite. Fortnite, they're constant they've been fixing it for a long time. Yep. It's, it's it can't every, be, every it can't week. be that broken fit. anymore. Nope. Um sorry. None of us are playing Alan Wake. Not yet. Like I I was at Target the other day. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll pick it up while I'm here. And then I realized that, yeah, it's digital only. Is it? And, yeah. yeah. They didn't put out a huh. physical copy of that, that game. Oh, because Epic published it, right? Uh, Epic at least published it on PC. PC. I wonder. I'm not, I'm not sure on the, on the console versions. Um, Did you but, know that you can download games on, uh, maybe PlayStation 2, I don't know, but on Xbox, if you go on the app and you look the games up on the app, you can download the games to the console without buying them as a workaround so they don't have to pay Apple the 30%. So, like, oh, okay. I've downloaded Alan Wake to my console. I have not purchased it. Sure, but, you can, like, preload it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but you can do it with any game. I don't know if that's, like, a thing that people knew. But. Sure. So, I, I just... <laughs> I now since it's digital only, I will wait until I'm actually going to sit down and play it to buy it, I guess. Right. You can preload it like I did. Right. I guess I can preload it and wait for it's it to big. go on, on sale. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I'm the, the reviews are off the charts on it. I, right. it's my most anticipated game of this, this year. It's just, 
I have to have time without like kids around to play that one. I anticipate that I will. Get you know, that, you should do. So. You should buy some football tickets and give them to your <laughs> wife and kids as a present. Right. Right. It's a good plan. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm.